I, I'm a big fan of Ron's films, and I, I've loved how he has managed to combine some some pretty intricate, uh, you know, challenging adult material and made it accessible and and made it and told d democratized a story that could otherwise have been very complex and and made it something that you really want to go to the cinema to see. You want to go and and I very much wanted that. I did not want this to remain a sort of um, artsy-fartsy rarefied. I was very interested, I am always interested in trying to reach a, a broader audience. And Ron really helped with that. And his, his instincts, I also was very keen to work with an American. I felt that, you know, this, this story is, at the heart of it is a relationship between an Englishman and an American. It, it's a subject that is very close to me. You know, I spent a lot of time in the United States my relationship with America, Britain's relationship with America, these things really interest me. And, and um, I just loved working with Ron, and uh, he's, he's been all the things people say about him and more, you know. Nixon the human being and Nixon the politician, you know, if you, if, if you separate them, um, uh, you know, you, you can't help but feel for someone who, uh, who found life so difficult. I mean, communication, friendship. Um, and then you look at someone like Frost, who finds life, certainly socially, very easy. He's very naturally gifted at communicating with people, making friends, being liked. And um, Nixon, quite the opposite, really, suspicious of people, wounded, probably didn't have many close friends, an unhappy marriage, um, a very lonely man. So for me, just as ingredients, I'm already excited when you think about bringing these two people together. And, and the sort of, you know, Frost had a great intellectual insecurity. He just wasn't taken seriously. And the one thing you could never lay at Nixon's door is the charge that he was stupid. Um, and uh, particularly when you make comparisons with current incumbents of the White House. I mean, you know, he was a formidable thinker.